What's up YouTube, Dragonman24 here welcoming you back to the channel for a brand new series. Today we are going to be starting off a Pokemon Heart Gold Randomized Nuzlocke. So let's go ahead and get this started. Uh, first and foremost, I want to preface a few things that this is not going to be a choose my starter episode because the channel just isn't big enough yet. I'm going to... I decided to leave the starters as is. They are the original second gen starters. And I'm going to be choosing the one that I choose because Soul Silver was the first Pokemon I, game I ever played. And it's my favorite in the series and means a lot to me. So for this randomizer, I'm going to go ahead and choose the same starter that I always choose, which you may or may not have been able to figure out by now. Um, this video is going up on both the main channel and the gaming channel. So if you're watching this on the main channel, there will be a link down in the description to the gaming channel where the rest of this series will be uploaded. Just this first episode will be on both channels and then the rest of it will be over here on Dragon's Ace. Um... I believe that I upped the difficulty just a little bit for this game. I wanted to do a Sacred Gold uh, Nuzlocke, but you couldn't randomize that because it's a Drayano hack. So I, I decided to up the difficulty. Wild Encounters are randomized, and if you guys don't know what a Nuzlocke is, the rules will be down in the description, but by now it's been done enough times on YouTube that most everybody who watches a series like this should know what a Nuzlocke is. Um, and yeah, I don't think there's much else to go over, so let's go ahead and get into this. I don't need any info. Oh yeah, I wanted to apologize for, <laughs> back up a second, I wanted to apologize for not having content up for quite some time. See, the problem is that I've been in college, and it's been very difficult for me to try and put out content for you guys. But I'm back home now, as you can clearly see. This is also the first time that you're seeing me with my new headset, which are wireless, so I can, I can dip. Catch you later. No, but in all seriousness, um, I am getting my own apartment. I'll have some roommates, but I'll have my own apartment and hopefully a new PC soon. So while I'm at college, I'll hopefully still be able to record and get some content out to you guys. Anyways, that's enough of me jabbering on. Let's, uh, let's get into this. Huh? It's already become so bright outside. Sorry to keep... <laughs> oh, whoa. Sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Professor Oak. But everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. Before we go any further, I'd like to tell you I'd like to tell you a few things you should know about this world. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. I don't know why he's got a little bit of a British accent. We humans live alongside Pokemon as friends. At times we play together, and at other times we work together. Some people use their Pokemon to battle and develop closer bonds with them. Now, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Are you a boy, or are you a girl? We are a boy. Yes. Please, tell me your name. Um... So here's what we're gonna do. For those of you that don't know, my real name is, uh, Jeremy. But... For games like these, and since... My username is Dragonman24. We're gonna go with Draco for our character name. Your name is Draco. Your name is Draco? Yes, it is. Thank you. Are you ready? Your very own tale of grand adventure is about to unfold. Fun experience, difficult experiences, there's so much waiting for you. Dreams, adventure, let's go to the world of Pokemon. I'll see you later. Also, this is a regular Nuzlocke of this game. The Nuzlocke 
is won or ends when the Elite Four is beaten the first time. Because we already did a Let's Play or a, nu a Nuzlocke of Fire Red. Which is the Kanto region. So this game is purely going to be just the Jota region taking on the main story. There's not going to be any post game for this. And we're only going to be collecting the eight gym badges of Jodo. Adventure. Excited. I love Pokemon. Get me out of here. Hi, Draco. You're finally awake. Your friend Lyra was just here. She was playing hide and seek with her Meryl. Oh, I almost forgot. Our acquaintance, Professor Elm, was looking for you. He said he had a favor to ask of you. You know where the lab is, right? It's right next door to us. By the way, do you have everything you need to go out? Here, use this bag to carry things. This is your trainer card. Here you can save a record of your progress. These are also rather helpful. Just try touching the buttons and you'll know what to do in no time. All right. This game has a whole lot of nostalgia for me. That was odd. She didn't say anything. Let's go and get this, uh, this starter Pokemon, shall we? Oh, what should I give him? What should I give him as a voice? <laughs> Hi, Draco. I've been waiting for you. Do you know anything about my research? As you know, Pokemon are carried in Pokeballs these days. But before the Pokeball was invented, people used to walk with Pokemon, just like your friend Lyra does. Pokeballs are great because you can carry many Pokemon. But walking with Pokemon must have some advantages. It could have something to do with how Pokemon grow or evolve. So I'm going to give you a Pokemon. Can you walk beside this Pokemon outside of its Pokeball to see if this brings any special feelings or bonds? Between Pokemon and people? The device over there has a Pokemon you could choose from. Oh hey, I got an email. Hmm, uh-huh, okay. Hey, listen, I have this acquaintance that people call Mr. Pokemon. He keeps finding weird things and raving about his discoveries. Anyway, I just got an email from him saying that this time it's real. It's probably another Pokemon egg, but we're still so busy with our Pokemon research. Wait, I know. You can go in our place, right? Can we count on you? You can choose one of the Pokemon over there. All right. So like I said, they're not randomized. We got Totodile, Cyndaquil, and Chikorita. Now, it's no secret that my favorite Pokemon, or Pokemon plural, my favorite Pokemon line is the Cyndaquil line. Because this game has a lot of nostalgia for me, and Cyndaquil was my first starter ever. So we're going to go ahead and grab Cyndaquil, and I think it's fitting that we're playing Heart Gold and ho is the Fire type legendary. So we're going to go ahead and start this off with the Fire type Pokemon Cyndaquil. And just as, as Nuzlocke rules state, we have to go ahead and name all of our Pokemon. I'm pretty basic, so we're going to have a basic fire type name. But, I mean, when I was a kid, I wasn't very creative, so that's what I named my Cyndaquil. Fun fact that Cyndaquil has stayed with me through every generation since then, and is now sitting peacefully in the box in Ultra Sun. <laughs> is Blaze the nickname you want to give? Yes, it is. 
How do you know, like, how do you like walking with your Pokemon? It's not bad, is it? You can take it all the way to Mr. Pokemon's house. If your Pokemon gets hurt, you should heal it with this machine. It's so easy to use, just check the PC on my desk. Mr. Pokemon goes everywhere and finds rarities. His house is past Sherry Grove City. Go north a little past Sherry Grove. I'm counting on you, Draco. Alright. Science man. Um. God, I gotta come up with names for every single character. Draco! I want you to have these to help you with your task. We got some potions. Pokemon are weak in the beginning. Don't hesitate to use a potion if you think yours is in danger. I don't know what these vo voices are. I'm trying to do like a nasally nerd type thing, but it's not coming out the way I want it. Draco! So you picked a Cyndaquil? That's a cute Pokemon you have. When you, walk is, when you walk with it, it'll become more friendly. You should turn around and talk to it sometimes, too. Oh, that's right. Why don't you show it to your mom? See ya! Just another thing to uh, mention. I do plan on Nuzlocking every generation of Pokemon, so if this series does well, the next generation will definitely have a Choose My Starter. Again, I decided to leave the starters as is, only because it's my favorite generation, and I just love these starters so much. Especially Cyndaquil. Oh, Draco. That's a cute Pokemon you have. Professor Elm must have given it to you. Oh, Professor Elm has a task for you, you say. What kind of task? I see. That sounds a little difficult. But when someone makes that kind of request of you, it must be important. Oh, that's right. I completely forgot. Your Pokegear came back from the repair shop. Here you go. Pokegear, as it's so often called, is what every trainer should have. Guess what? You can use the Pokegear to make a phone call, too. Do you remember how? Yes, I do. Just power on the Pokegear and touch the telephone button. Okay, thanks. The names of the people you can call are automatically registered. Just select one and give him or her a call. Wow, I can't believe it's so easy to make a phone call. Yeah, it's called technology. It's 21st century, Mom. Let's get going! Look at us move! Oh, how we walk so freaking slow. I need some running shoes, like, ASAP. I almost completely forgot about this! Here, I'll give you my number! Don't call me, old man! I'll call you if anything comes up. I just said don't call me. What kind of... What kind of illegal activity is this? Giving an underage child your phone number. You're a grown man. It's disgusting. Oh god, I messed up. Ah. We haven't run into any Pokemon yet, so... We haven't seen what the randomized encounters look like. Oh, here we go! Now, of course, we do not have Pokeballs yet, and... As most of you know, po once you get Pokeballs, that's when the Nuzlocke starts. I'm actually gonna go ahead and fight this Lopunny. No reason not to. Oh, that's a reason not to. She's tanky. There's something about sprites that just... Ah, oh, it's so good. Sprite art for Pokemon, in my opinion, has always been better. I mean, not to say that the 3D models in the new games are bad. It's just that sprites are so good, man. You can't beat sprites. This is a fully evolved Pokemon. This will be some decent experience. Oh no, I've been foresighted. I've been identified. It's 2019. You can't identify me. Let me do me. 
That's a level. And we learned Smokescreen. Absolutely useless. I believe I made it so that this game has randomized field items as well as randomized TMs. So this could get wild. An Electabuzz. Oh, I would not mind an Electabuzz. I'm gonna run from this thing. This thing scares me. Running shoes, old man, speak to me. You're a rookie trainer, aren't you? I can tell. That's okay, everyone is a rookie at some point. If you'd like, I can teach you a few things. Okay then, follow me. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot you weren't wearing the running shoes. I'll try to go as slow as possible, so try keeping up. This is the Pokemon Center. They heal your Pokemon in no time at all. You'll be relying on them a lot, so you'd better learn about them. This is the Pokemon Mart. They sell Pokeballs for catching wild Pokemon and other useful items. Route 30 is out this way. Trainers will be battling their Pokemon there. If you go a little farther, you'll see Mr. Pokemon's house. We gotta remember to come back here and get an encounter once we have a fishing rod or surf. This is the sea, as you can see. Some Pokemon are found only in water. This man can move. Here, it's my house. For your effort keeping up with me, I'll give you my running shoes. They're still warm. That's disgusting. Got you, didn't I? Don't worry. These are brand new. Touch the, inst the instruction read. Touch the sprint button on the... Touch screen to sprint. It also says hold the B button down to sprint. Yeah, no, we're not we're not doing that. We're just gonna leave those on. And now we can book it. <sighs> I made it! I forgot about one thing. This is another token from me. Take it. We got a map. You'll see the map of the region you're currently in. Oh, wait. I wish you luck on your journey. That wasn't him speaking. Route 30. Butterfree. Butterfree. I'm not... Not overly ecstatic about that. That better not be my encounter. A thunderstone. Oh. Hey, kiddo. How in the world can you be so oblivious to my eye-catching house? Bro, I don't care. Hold it right there. Listen, dog. You can, you can do your thing with the apricots. But leave me out of it. Leave me out of it. When you follow that path up north, you will see Mr. Pokemon's house. Yeah, that's where I'm going. But before you go, let me finish what I have to say. No. Do you have any apricorns? Apricorn trees bear fruit once a day. I have one of these, those trees too. Apricorns are really something. You can make Pokeballs and other things. They are quite useful. I have a feeling this is meant to be because I have something for you. Cool. I'll take it. That's it. Leave me alone. Stranger danger! What else can I find on Route 30? Scizor! Yo! So far, the wild encounters are looking pretty wild. I should probably have Cynical Body a few things. Big Pro, that's cash. That's cheddar cheese. 
I'm going to do my best to keep the Cyndaquil alive throughout the entire playthrough. probably gives good experience it's level two there's no way I have a water type attack <laughs> splash well okay good we got it I just think a Wilmer would probably give some pretty decent experience so there's no reason not to go for it. That's a level. Butterfree! Get off my screen! Well, I mean, he gave it to us. Might as well. You must be Draco. It was I who sent an email to Professor Elmer earlier. This is what I want Professor Elm to examine. We obtained the mystery egg. Wow! A friend of mine from Ecrity gave it to me. I bet you can't find this kind of egg in Johto. That's actually exactly where you can find it. I thought Professor Elm might be able to tell what this is. He's the best when it comes to the research of Pokemon evolution. That's a quote from the famous Professor Oak. You are returning to Professor Elm? Here, your Pokemon should have some rest. Bet, free heals. And with that, I'm Professor Oak, a Pokemon researcher. So you're Draco. I was just visiting my friend, Mr. Pokemon. I heard you were running an errand for Professor Elm, so I waited here. Oh, what's this? A rare Pokemon? I see. You must be helping Professor Elm's research. I think I understand why Professor Elm gave you that Pokemon. You will treat your Pokemon with love and care, it seems. Ah, you seem to be dependable. How would you like me to? How would you like to help me out? See, this is the latest version of the Pokedex. It automatically it automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. It's an index. I'd like you to have it. It's the Pokemon Index, Pokédex. Why do they call it an encyclopedia? Go meet many kinds of Pokemon and complete that Pokedex. But I've stayed too long. I have to get to Goldenrod for my usual radio show. Draco, I have a feeling that this is not the last time we'll meet. Let's exchange numbers, just to be on the safe side. All these old men want to give me their numbers, god. I didn't ask for this. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's skedaddle. Oh, look at that. Hello? Draco! It's a disaster! Um, it's just terrible! What should I do? I already forgot his name. It was like 10 minutes... Or his voice. It's like 10 minutes ago. It, oh no! Please get back here now! That's kind of what I was doing, but then you called and... Rude. We can body another Whammer. We got time. It's not like it's an emergency or anything. It's only level 2 though. It's kind of trash. It's not even a level.
I gave this guy a lot of ish, and now I'm grabbing all the apricorns I can find. So again, the Nuzlocke has not started yet. We don't have Pokeballs. Right? You got a Pokemon at the lab? What a waste. That's a Pokemon that's too good for a wimp like you. Don't you get what I'm saying? Well, I too have a good Pokemon. I'll show you what I mean. I also I made it so that the rival's gonna keep this uh, Toto dial through the game. So all the more reason for me to want to keep my starter alive. We're two levels above, let's just go for a tackle. Oh, he's leering. He's got the strats now. That's a little nerve wracking. But I'm pretty sure this total dial is just getting bodied. Yeah. And another level. Da, 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 da. Do you know who I am? I'm going to be the world's greatest Pokemon trainer. Give it back! That's my trainer card! Oh no, you saw my name. Death and Despair. Edge. Edge Lord McGee. What do I name my rival? That's the question. Investigating the case of the missing Pokemon here. Rule number one, whoever did it will come back to the site. <gasps> oh my! So you must be the one who did it. Hold on a second. He has nothing to do with it. I saw it. There was a red-haired boy looking into the building. What? You battled a boy like that? He must be the one who did it. Did you happen to get his name? This is like... The worst. This is the worst crime scene investigation ever. Um. I think we're just gonna be. Simple boys. You're gonna be Silver, whatever your last name is. Trying to... There we go. Silver! I see. So Silver, what's his name? Uh, sure. Thanks for helping my investigation. My next assignment is to search for the red-haired boy. It, for this red-haired individual. Draco, I'm glad they understand you are innocent. See you later! What? That's it? Draco, this is terrible! Oh, yes. What was Mr. Pokemon's big discovery? Let's give him the egg. Huh? This is an egg, isn't it? Um, yeah, that's what eggs look like. You're, you're, you're a pretty smart guy. This egg may be something I've never seen. Still, is it? It's just an egg. Mr. Pokemon is always fascinated by eggs. Well, since... He gave it to us. We might as well find out what secrets it holds. I'll keep it for a while to find out about the egg. What? Oak gave you a Pokedex? 
Draco, is that true? That's incredible! He is superb at seeing the potential of people as trainers. Wow, Draco, I knew you were a little different. Things are going to be fun. Your Pokemon seem to really like you, so why don't you take the Pokemon Gym Challenge? If you manage to defeat all the gym leaders, you'll eventually cha challenge the Pokemon League. Pokemon League Champion, uh huh. Or not, ha <laughs> ha. Becoming the champion is not at all easy, but you can certainly challenge Violet City's gym. Draco, challenging the gym scattered around will be a long journey. Before you leave, make sure that you talk to your mom. God, so much has been done. But we're going to go ahead and talk to mom in the next episode. Because this is already, this is around when I want to keep my episodes about 30 minutes long. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please be sure to leave a like leave a comment and subscribe to my channel again if you're watching this on the main channel link to the dragon's ace my gaming channel will be down below um but yeah we'll start off the next episode with talking to mom and getting our first encounter officially starting the nuzlocke so with that i will talk to you guys next time goodbye